Hey, everybody. Before we get started, I want to encourage you, uh, if we haven't uh, shared yet that uh, context, out of context video with all the preaching pastors, that's kind of a fun thing. That's, that's fun to share and remind us how context is important and, frankly, make fun of our pastors, including myself. So we had a lot of fun with that. That was awesome. For starters, in Ephesians 5 and then 6, a little bit of chapter 6, Paul talks about how we can take the realities of the gospel and imitate that, pretend to be that in all of our lives. Now, I want to challenge our church family. It's got to be true in the most important relationships first. It's got to be that way. Imitators of God, loving others as Jesus loved us, first in our marriages, then in our families with our kids and kids to the parents, then in the workplaces around us. I want you to consider, the first thing I want you to do is someone read James chapter 3, verses 1 through 12. This is specifically addressing how we talk, how I honestly think when we have a a list of like sins and waywardness from God, we hear sexual immorality and drunkenness maybe, and all these other ways we can veer way far away from God and we go, ooh, those things are gross. And then we hear things like crude joking and we kind of like, yeah, yeah, that's probably not good, but I like doing that, it's funny. Read James 3, 1 through 12. And let's talk about, in your group, why do we downplay our words and the sins that come out of that? Scripture doesn't. Go ahead and talk about that. Second thing, I want you to have a discussion in your group, because a lot of what Paul talked about in Ephesians chapter 5 was kind of a compare and contrast, right? He looked back at your former selves and he said, you used to be like this. The people that are far from God, they're like this, but now you're like this. Go ahead and have some conversation. Talk about how is your life different before Christ, BC, and after Christ? Because the expectation of scripture, the expectation of a life given to Jesus is that it is going to be radically different. Lives of light are different than lives of darkness. Go ahead and compare and contrast lives without God and your life with God. And the last thing is just more of an encouragement for all of us. Guys, we got to be people on mission. We will, as a church, strive to do everything that we can to continue focusing on what that mission is and how we can equip the saints for the work of the ministry. That's my job. That's our job as a church. But all believers, all followers of Jesus are on mission. Don't wait for anything to live on mission. I said it in the message. If you or I are bored in our faith, it's not the church's fault. It's not God's fault. We need to be reminded that we are on mission. Let's go be missionaries in our marriages, in our homes, in our workplaces, and in our communities. Love you guys.